Okay, Virgos, this is your reading for the next several months. Okay, we're going to be taking a look at May, June, and July. Okay, Got a nice rainfall going on outside. If you're hearing things in the background, that's what it is. Okay. So we're going to find out what's happening with you guys here for the next three months. My energy feels pretty chill with you guys right now, Virgo. Um, and you know I love y'all energy. Mm? <laughs> um, let's see. We're going to be using the astrology cards. We're going to use the tarot deck, Sevilla cards to clarify some of the cards if I need to and also we're going to find out what your angel number is as always if you resonate with any of the angel numbers here Virgo make sure you guys leave me a comment down below if you resonate with anything I'm saying in this reading leave a comment down below here okay so let's see what's happening for you Sagittarius is coming up for you here in May. You guys could be dealing with Sagittarius or uh, you have Sagittarius in your chart. They're calling you the Explorer here. Um, you're focused on, I feel, fearing, uh, freeing your spirit or, or um, philosophy. For some reason, it feels a lot like you wanting more spiritual knowledge here. Okay, with the Sagittarius energy. For June, you guys have Neptune that is showing up for you. Mystery. Okay, so something is confusing you guys here in June. You guys could be dealing with a Pisces here in June. Uh, you guys may have a lot of epiphanies. You guys may have a lot of spiritual downloads. You may be tapping into your subconscious or really using your intuition here in the month of June to help you make decisions for yourself or see beyond uh, the mystery that you are uh, faced with here in the month of June. Okay, there may be illusions. My Scorpio is in Lilith. Where's your Scorpio? Leave it in the comment section okay but you have Lilith, Lilith coming in for July here something is taboo what y'all got yourself into here Virgo behave yourself okay um <laughs> no seriously Lilith something is taboo here okay you guys it's untamed it's po possibly sexual energy like you're getting freaky as hell out there okay fulfilling your fantasies and dealing with a lot of fetishes okay it may be your shadow side here that you are diving deep into um secret desires you guys may be tapping into something that you're doing is taboo mine is in scorpio so you know i'm a freak no i'm just kidding <laughs> i'm just not really um what, what's your uh <laughs> your side and your lilith go look it up okay so we can talk about each other okay but the spirit is saying something is taboo something that you're doing it may be some spiritual practices you guys could be uh, uh really diving into spirituality doing some spell work in your family feels like it's taboo okay um because you grew up in a re religious house uh, for some reason i heard, heard christian and catholic something like that doesn't have to be but for, for some reason i heard that for some of you guys okay that won't resonate with everyone but something you're doing some people may feel like it's taboo do you have a, a only fans people like that's taboo you our family don't do that you doing it virgo <laughs> oh shit and yeah, i'm not judging nobody i'm gonna give me an only fans not okay Y'all don't want to see me. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get your angel number out here, okay? This rain has got me going. Can y'all hear it? Let me know if you hear that in the background, okay? Can't stop it. I like it, though. I love the rain. Let's see what's happening for you guys here in the month of May. Besides this full moon that's happening on the 15th and 16th here, okay? So you guys have number 27 coming in. Angel number 27, your positive affirmation is, I am impressive. Some Scorpio, <laughs> Scorpio, I said Scorpio. Sagittarius finds you very impressive. No, it's your spirit guy speaking to you. They're saying your mind is wide open, okay? And you are tolerant and compassionate towards all ways of life. You value freedom, and that's what I was feeling. 
with the Sagittarius energy of free spirit, free energy. You feel free here in the month of May to be an explorer, to be a philosopher, okay? To travel, to be bold, to be blunt, to be unapologetic on that ass, okay? Well, that's the taboo shit that's happening for you guys in, in July, y'all freaks. I'm sorry, I don't mean that. I'm just joking with y'all, okay? But I, I used to be with a Virgo, so y'all freaks. Um, improve the conditions of people. You may be focused on that. Like I said, a humanitarian, like Sagittarius energy here. Well, it's really Aquarius when I think about it. Okay. Um, and sometimes Sagittarius, okay, but very adventurous here. That's what I'm saying. They're saying whether in your community, country, or the world at large, you are impressive. You are a shining star. People love your energy. They love you being bold and brave and put it because they can't do it. And they probably wouldn't do the shit that you're about to do here over the next several months. Okay. You are finna get buck wild. That's what I feel here. You guys are going to be living on the edge just a little bit. Okay. Do doing your thing, saying what you want to say, what you need to say, being very unapologetic about your your dealings here, okay? You're like, this is me, Virgo, take it or leave it, bitch, okay? That's what I feel. Neptune energy coming in. What is confusing you? Why people are all in your damn business. That's what possibly what's confusing you here, okay? Where some people may see you as a mystery and that's why they're so captivated by your energy. Look at how they're looking at you here. Virgo, they're saying, angel number 28, your positive affirmation. I am a leader. Repeat this. I am a leader. I am the boss here. Okay, you are a visionary. With this Neptune energy here, I feel like a lot of great ideas will come from your dreams, from downloads, spiritual downloads, or epiphanies, or your intuition, or visions that you get a lot of artists resonate with this neptune energy especially if you have pisces in, in your chart you know you're the bomb already spirit is saying in an effort to accomplish great things you recognize the value of working with others here in the month of june you make a capable and compassionate leader who can bring people together and drive a team uh, towards achievement and success just know that especially if you guys have your own business or you're thinking about opening up your own business people are going to follow you they feel like you are a very knowledgeable and intuitive and compassionate and bold and courageous leader i'm not i'm not boasting here about you i'm just telling you this energy that I'm feeling here, you're very imaginative and they appreciate that, okay? Very kind-hearted as well. Like, people are really going to love you to the point where they probably be stalking your ass, okay, by July. Here we go. <laughs> you have 18 coming in as your angel number. I am kind-hearted. That's your positive affirmation here, okay? They feel like you're kind-hearted. They want to get to know you very, very well, <laughs> okay? You may have some sexual lovers here that's very attracted to you, basically. That's what I'm saying, okay? I feel like your your phone is going to be ringing, okay? Your messenger is going to be going off as you put yourself out there. And you're just living life to the fullest, okay? Not harming yourself or others, but doing your thing, okay? Doing what makes you feel good. You're going to be shining bright. That's what I feel. Spirit is saying you are both open-minded and open-hearted and your ambition is to leave this world better than you found it. Ensure that your goals are aligned with the collective need and with the highest good of all. Some of you guys are going to be doing some amazing spiritual work as well with this Lilith energy here helping a lot of people and you're look i'm just telling you some people may see what you're doing here it is taboo with this lilith energy they may not understand it may be your family because they've never seen this side of you here virgo that you are more stepping more into your spiritual self in june and july with neptune and lilith coming in here lets me know that your spiritual enlightenment and gifts and talents are really shining through and a lot of people have not seen this side of you so you may take them by surprise just saying okay but that's okay keep doing your thing here so we're going to go ahead and bring out the tarot cards and elaborate on this a little bit further here what is going on here with virgo and may spirit what is happening with virgo 
in May. Ooh, clarity and belief. Clarity of belief. Ace of Swords. Okay, you're you're very yeah. You're very cutting edge. That's what they just said to me. You're very cutting edge. Okay, you are a um, truth seeker. Okay. <laughs> and a warrior here that's what i'm feeling with this sagittarius energy that is coming in uh for may okay but with the ace of swords you're cutting through all of the bullshit and you're getting right down to business you are focused on moving forward with the six of swords okay energy that's coming in spirit is saying believe and succeed here okay look at that i told you your spiritual enlightenment okay you guys are are um pure alchemist here okay in the month of may you guys have the high priestess that is coming in here so in all reality it's all three months that you guys are on point with your intuition don't let anybody rock the boat for you or make you feel like you guys are crazy okay maybe they can learn something for uh from you as you continue to grow and expand yourself okay uh, you have the nine of swords that's coming in in june you also have the um six of swords okay i said six of swords but this is actually the six of wands that's coming in in may okay so very successful still you're going to be very successful and then you have so you have 66 coming in here which six means growth okay um and spirit is saying that your uh healing begins here in july okay moving past difficulties and you have the four of pentacles that is showing up for you guys as well so the month of june let's take a quick look at this we're going to clarify with some sabila cards that's coming in here to help us what's going on with these swords for i feel like i called you guys gemini if i did sorry are you messing around with gemini hmm Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. You have the Eight of Cups clarifying the Nine of Swords. You're moving past your darkest fears here. Like I said, with that uh, Sagittarius energy here and the Neptune energy, you guys, you're stepping into an energy of being this free spirit and being very independent here okay so you're walking away from your fears that's what i feel with the eight of cups here yeah you may break some hearts because you may leave some people behind you may leave some situations behind as well and close some chapters three of swords and the six of swords that is showing up for you so you're healing yourself also from things that um, may have hurt you that may have disappointed you um, but you know that you have also learned some valuable lessons from those experiences here as well so i feel like you're moving towards calmer waters uh, and moving out of a, a, a place of chaos you're no longer stuck and trapped and worried <laughs> about who and who's doing what here okay you're really focused on yourself here in virgo and expanding and growing okay spirit wants you to open up your heart with the four of pentacles that is coming in here yes open up your heart to change that's what i feel because you got the nine of swords that is showing up again why is this coming in here for virgo in june Whew. okay <laughs> For some of you guys, these are new relationships here, okay? Nine of Swords and the Page of Cups. These are new relationships, whether it is business or um, personal, okay? Professional or personal relationships may scare you due to past situations here. Or you just not being, um, not feeling like you want to open up because of the risk of being hurt again okay or being hurt period here that's why you have this card of spirit saying open up okay you could possibly find security uh in the new that is coming into your life in may okay it's been a difficult road that's what i feel with the ace of swords difficult new beginnings here there may be some hesitation some fear and moving on to something new but i feel definitely here that 
Spirit is saying that you are a wise person. You are kind-hearted. You are a leader. And whatever you're trying to manifest in your life, your spirit guides have your back here, okay? They definitely have your back and will help you achieve whatever you're trying to achieve in your life. Whatever, whether it's a new relationship or a new business venture or a new adventure in your life here, okay? You guys have the Seven of Pentacles that's coming in towards you here, Virgo, in July. You also have the Devil card that is coming in here. And you also have the Two of Wands that is coming in the reverse position here. So I definitely feel like you guys are not stuck at a crossroads here by July. You're just doing your own thing, okay? You are really exerting your independence with this Lilith energy. People are going to see you as a wild cat. <laughs> this is what I feel, okay? Like you're just doing your thing and you're opening up. You're a big change from June, okay? I feel May, you're setting the stage. June, you're like, you got one foot out there. You're a little hesitant. By July, you're stepping fully on the stage to be yourself. No fear here, okay? You just want to see results here in your life with the seven of pentacles that's coming in. And I definitely feel like people will be drawn to you. The devil card doesn't really feel bad to me. It just feels, um, I feel like you are... Your, your energy is going to be very captivating to other people. People are going to have some wild fantasies about you. That's the, that's the energy that, um, that I'm feeling for you guys. People are going to have some crazy wild fantasies about you. Okay. Seven of Cups. <laughs> yeah. They got some crazy thoughts. Some people may be dreaming about you, possible lovers here, page of cups, okay? You may have a lover that is deeply thinking about you or, or secret admirers that think about you as well, okay? I feel like it's more than one person. Even past love is thinking about you. Six of cups that's coming in here. They may show back up as well. That's what I'm seeing, okay? Definitely. Four of cups and the six of pentacles. That's showing up for the two of swords and her two of wands in reverse here. Okay. I feel like you're choosing a new path to go down. You're no longer stuck in the past here by July. You guys are knowing where you're going here. Um, you're not really dealing with a lot of temptations. You're not swayed by them. You're so wise by July that you are really following your dreams. You have already worked on your shadow side or, you can, or you're continuing to work on your shadow side with this Lilith card here, okay? To the point where you feel very empowered in the temptation that comes around you. You're seeing through people's hidden agendas and what's around the corner and what's coming towards you with your intuition being off the charts here, okay? That's what I'm seeing, so. Feels very freeing here, okay? Seven of Swords that's showing up for you. There's gonna be people out there that want to change your mind, want you to not do a certain thing here. That's what I'm feeling with the Seven of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords that's showing up here. The card says coral, coral, like fighting, um, but you're not backing down. <laughs> Let me tell you, okay? They're just going to be unhappy. You have displeasure coming in. And you also have the Nine of Pentacles. That's you. That Nine of Pentacles energy. Feeling good. Perfecting your skills. Perfecting yourself. Working on the things that you want to work on here. This Lilith, Lilith energy is banging right now. That's what I'm feeling. You're feeling very liberated. Very empowered. And people are going to be like, Virgo, what happened to you? You were so sweet. <laughs> You're going to be out there like unapologetic, but that's what I feel. Making your dreams happen, period. Okay, that is your reading, Virgo. Go out there and be your great self. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up if you resonated with this message or any of these angel num numbers. Subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't done so already. And hit that notification bell so you know when I come back with another reading. I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.